folks, Brandon here. Okay. It's a little bit mixture of sunny and cloudy at the same time here. So this is the video quality as far as the brightness we're dealing with today. Got my true spec patch cap on. Patch cap on. Patch cap on. Got my Rothko made in India all cotton shimog. Got my loveliest most carpenter pants by Wrangler. Got my 511 knockoff hiking shoes. And got just a shirt I picked up and we all know it's Christmas Eve, so that'd be Merry Christmas to all y'all. And something I'd like to talk about today, probably more than anything else really, I've talked about recently back when I was doing videos on Facebook for my YL Vision stuff, or I used to have my Survive, Thrive, and Alive branding page. This is a few topics I didn't recover. I wish I could have is that a lot of people have misconception of survival tools and tools in general and whatnot. You see where people think you have to buy this $300 big gigantic survival knife to survive anything or you need the smallest hundred plus dollar knife for a bushcrafter. Really, for a lot of decent stuff, all you need most time is a multi-tool or a Swiss Army knife or just a good blade for most regular small stuff. And then possibly something like a hatchet for your heavier stuff. And if you don't want none of that, just get you a multi-purpose tool then. Or also what's known as a one-tool option. Now this right here is a Winchester blade of a limited edition item of theirs I tried throwing with this you can see it's got a few things missing on it and whatnot got a few little sections maybe mainly just one missing on it right there this is more blade for looks but it's also going to do a lot of fine carving tasks and everything else it's a good blade very sharp not used that much decent steel this is the sheath that comes with nothing great nothing fantastic this is all came inside a set. You know, I got a pocket knife by Buck, came inside a specialty knife set, special edition thing. I saw a camper, a hiker one day going to Walmart. Had a pretty large Winchester knife on the side, big old backpack full of stuff. It wasn't one of them Bowie style ones, but it was Winchester, I could tell. You know, it depends on what you're really trying to do out in the woods, what setup you want, time of year you want, etc as opposed to why for you in your area you'd want to take what you should carry. And a lot of people, because they love hacking stuff in the shade, thinking they're cool walking through the woods. You ain't got to hack every limb of front. You just push it aside with your hand, take a stick, walk a stick, push it aside. Even take a blade of your machete, whatever big knife, push it aside. And too many people really overuse their blade, not even understand the strength or whatever quality or steel their blade has, what it's meant to be used for in certain tasks. Really, most people like overuse their blade, dull it quicker by instead of breaking stuff with their body that they know they have the physical ability to for safe enough, but just keep on using the blade. They ain't got to use their body. Please save your knife blade, and so I'm going to save for today. All right, folks, I hope you have a Merry Christmas. I'll see y'all folks around.